Hi, Crafty Family. Come join me to craft a jack-o'-lantern bag with me using Scrap Diva dies and Fancy Pants Happy Halloween papers. So I'm gonna start out by cutting a piece of paper into a six by 12 piece, it's a rectangle. And then I'm going to score it on the six inch side at six inches. And then I'm actually going, should have done a complete turn on the other side and scored it at two inches. And then on the 12 inch side, you're going to score it at 12 inches, four inches, six inches, nine and a half inches and 11 and a half inches burnish all those edges and of course all of the measurements are going to be down in the description box so burnishing them and then we're just going to cut the flaps the four most outer little squares i'm going to snip those off and then i am going to on the top and the bottom on both of the long folds and the little tiny folds I'm going to just snip those to make them so that they are flaps and not just one continuously long piece I have to say I've had so much fun working with the fancy pants papers I think that they are so pretty and both sides of them are are really attractive so I am going to take this jack-o-lantern the girl jack-o-lantern die and put it actually on one of the square the three by three square or is it three by three? Three and a half by three and a half squares of the bag. And I'm going to place it carefully, kind of near the bottom so there's a place to embellish at the top. My prototype that I created, I put it right in the middle and didn't really have a space to embellish. The way that this one turned out, the die did slip just a touch, and when it slipped, it went down right next to the corner. So I would, of course, avoid that. Now I'm just trying to find the panel that's going to go behind the jack-o'-lantern face so that it really stands out and looks like maybe a candle is back there. Of course, if you wanted to, you could leave it open and put a little um, flameless candle in there like you can get at the dollar store. You get two for $1.25 now and you could put that in and it will just glow beautifully. You could put tissue paper behind there so that it could glow. If you wanted to, you could make it into a shaker even. So super duper simple. Now I'm in the middle of cutting out the happy Halloween sentiment that spoiler alert I don't end up using so um, I spend all this time cutting it out the first time through it it messed up the paper slipped and I it cut the Y off of the happy and then this so then I had to cut it out two more times because I do like to have the white shadow behind the purple to make it stand out um, my favorite 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 paper from the the um, fancy pants designs was the purple I just loved the purple stars but I mostly just really loved the way the purple the orange and the beige all worked together it just ended up being a really lovely collection to work with and then when I saw this um, jack-o'-lantern girl from scrap diva I immediately thought of making it into a luminary but then once I started making it I wanted to put the glitter behind it to make her just have a permanent smile instead and you can hide little goodies in here if you don't have a ton of people that are behind or that come to your house you could actually create this and hand out trick-or-treats in it so the inside panel, I'm cutting it to be just a, a scotch less than three and a half by three and a half. And the reason it's a little bit less is so that there is space for the paper to fold over it. And now I am just gluing all of the edges around the face and adding some glue so that it sticks really nice and firm. And because this is that really chunky glitter paper, it doesn't want to stick very well. So I just kind of had to like keep on burnishing it and working with it. But you know, it eventually worked and, and everything is great. Um, after that, I'm going to go through and glue down the top edges. And those are just to make it a little more sturdy so that the top edge doesn't get all worn down when you are putting things in and out of it, or even just as you know, you might be storing it and just keeps it a little bit um, hold helps it to hold its structure a little bit better the two half inch flaps on the either end one will get glued to the inside and the other gets glued to the outside so I just like to match it up to the fold and then lay it flat and burnish it all down and then pop it up and glue the inside flaps and then the outside flaps and you end up with your foundation of a box 
and it's nearly finished. Like this is a super easy project that's really cute and really fun to make. So it doesn't take too terribly long, um, not sped up. This probably took me about 30 total minutes to create this one. But one of the reasons it takes a little bit longer is because at the end, I do spend some time embellishing it and I didn't plan that out beforehand. So you actually get to see me in process. I punched holes on either side of the bag right where the part that makes it sturdier is so um so that it it like the bag isn't going to break from the ribbon being through there and then i just am using my crop dial to put a an eyelet in there to make sure it's firm and then this particular ribbon wants to fray and so i'm just hot gluing it to itself just like this it was part of the design plan for that um to have the ends sealed in that way so here's the basic bag and now i'm going to put together this happy halloween that i don't end up using <laughs> but it still it turns out cute and it, while it might not be part of this particular project at the end it is just part of the process of what i did today so i left it in you know she, she can stay there um the the dies cut really nice they i didn't have to spend a ton of time poking the middles out when it was the 120 pound paper, I did have to work with it a little more. The purple is 120 pounds. So, I mean, but that's to be expected in my opinion. So I glued down the white so that it would act as kind of a highlight behind there. And then I'm gluing the purple on top of it. And you can read Happy Halloween really well um, right on there. And then I'm going to grab my box of Fancy Pants embellishments and I mean, that would look cute, right? Just like that. Um, but I found this bow and all of a sudden I was like, I think I want to use the bow. And when I decided that I wanted to use the bow, the Happy Halloween just did not work with it anymore. So I'm just looking here for a couple of little layering pieces behind there and um, just kind of jumbling through everything. I'm sure you have been through the exact same process a million times when you're just trying to find exactly the right thing. I was wondering maybe that witch hat would be really cute on there. Maybe this little rosette that I created on here. Um, so anyway, you're just watching me play around with everything and just kind of having fun messing around with it and trying lots of things out to see what I actually like. One of these might be appealing to you. Um, the way that mine ended may not be appealing to you, but that's one of the beautiful things about being an artist, right? Is you do what you want and what makes you happy and what makes you feel good. And so the bow, it was just, just sticking with me. And so I ended up going with the bow at the end. So just thank you so much for um, sticking with me through this video and watching the whole process. I really appreciate your support. I am at, on the official design team with Scrap Diva Designs now, and I have a code, it's Urban10. So if you go over and order, make sure that you use that code and save 10% on the dies that you order and um, make sure and tag me when you create with your dies so and and uh, make sure and tag scrap diva 29 so that we can see what you've created because it's it's so fun to see all the goodies that come out um, based on something that I've done or even just something that that you've come up with on your own um, but maybe you got uh, inspired to buy the product just based on um, watching my little my little video so thank you so much and have a wonderful spooky day a spooky october and a spooky halloween cheers to you